And thanks for staying with us. The State Assembly welcomed 16 new representatives today, but the room was noticeably less crowded. Democrats protested the inauguration for the 105th Assembly over COVID concerns. Republicans will hold a 60-38 majority in the Assembly. They have a 20-12 to 12 advantage in the Senate. We have team coverage out of the Capitol tonight. And let's start with our Gabriela Becerra, who found out when Republicans plan to vote on COVID relief, something they have not done since April. Gabby? Well, Susan, Speaker Robin Voss says we can expect to see what he calls a bipartisan COVID-19 relief bill by the end of the week. And Democrats would be glad to see it happen, but what's in the bill is the sticking point. The Assembly didn't take up a COVID-19 relief bill today, but Speaker Robin Voss wants one introduced and voted on this week. Those of you who were here know the legislature approved a bipartisan relief package within the first month of the pandemic. This week, the assembly should act once again. Voss says both parties already negotiated parts of the bill, including Governor Tony Evers. The proposal we are introducing today has over 44 provisions to help fight the virus and reopen our economy and our schools. Meanwhile, Evers is asking the legislature to pass his proposals. Evers said one of his bills includes up to $100 million for public health expenses. Local leaders agree that help needs to come soon. Ever there was a time for people to come together on all levels of government and lead by example and do what's best for the people of our county and our state and our nation, it's now. Dane County Executive Joe Parisi says they're doing everything they can on a local level. While another round of federal funding will help, it's not enough. And he feels the same way about Republicans in action last session. People are suffering, you know, both physically um, through illness, people are suffering economically. Um, so we need some help. We need the state to come in and we need the legislature, frankly, to do its job. Republicans won't need Democrats in either house to approve their bills, but they don't have enough votes to override a veto from Evers, which means some negotiation may be necessary. So let's join together to get this bill passed this week and provide the help Wisconsinites need.